Hi, welcome to another episode of the Ambient Mellotron here on the Ambient iPad. Let's make some music. I'm going to concentrate on just one sound from the Mellotron M4000D Mini, the clavichord, which was part of the original sound set of the Mellotron M400. The clavichord is a very old instrument. You hit a key, it's attached to a wooden lever. At the end of that lever is a piece of metal called a fulcrum, which then hits an iron or steel string from underneath. From a mechanical perspective, it's similar to a piano or a harpsichord in that depending on how hard and soft you play controls the dynamics of the instrument. With the clavichord, if you really hit the keys hard or push and hold them down, you can actually bend the strings for some pitch bend effects. The modern equivalent of the clavichord is the clavinet, used a lot in funk music, like Stevie Wonder. The clavichord is really traditionally a very quiet instrument, was not used in a concert setting, but was meant to be used at home or as a practice instrument. So I'll send that sound through an even tied undulator, which is a tremolo effect, and we'll use Velvet Machine once again for that big expansive soundscape. The signal chain is the Mellotron M4000D Mini analog output, which goes into a Focusrite Scarlett 18i8 interface, which communicates back and forth with the iPad through a USB-C hub, which also enables me to power the iPad at the same time. Let's open up a new project in GarageBand. I really should look into trying 8 Matrix again. It's been it's been a number of videos since I have tried 8 Matrix with live audio uh, from the Mellotron, which just kept giving me problems. The screen recording would stop. Uh, of course, I would have no feedback to know that it had actually stopped because in GarageBand, uh, one of the good things about GarageBand, besides being very straightforward for audio, is that uh, the icon for screen recording shows right up and uh, I know whether it's working or not. So let's turn on monitoring. Again, we go under fun, which is counterintuitive, and we pick clean, and we're, we're kind of set with that. And for no other reason than I just like the way it looks, we'll change the icon to a Mellotron, an M400, uh, which is actually good because we're gonna be working with the clavichord sounds from the M400. I've been just playing around a little during the week with the clavichord. Let's, uh... That's your basic straight sound. It does have a clavinet sound to it, and once we add effects, you can really hear the clavinet type sound. For effects, I really only want to use one effect today, uh, and I'm going to use Undulator, which is a tremolo effect from Eventide. It doesn't really do a straight-ahead tremolo, <laughs> but it does some very cool things. Um, actually, I'd love just a straight-ahead old-school tremolo, like, um, you know, a guitar pedal tremolo that just has a couple of knobs, and uh, I can't find one out there. If anybody knows of one, please let me know in the comments. I'm not interested in a big multi-effects package. I know there are some of them out there that have tremolo, uh, only because I have so many effects already. But uh, Undulator was actually one of the first effects I bought. And uh, when I was playing around with the clavichord sound, uh, I wanted to have some tremolo on it. So picked up Undulator, or I already had Undulator. I, I, I launched Undulator. I have a couple of basic tremolo patches that I created. Didn't really sound good. So I started going through the presets and there were some very cool sounds. So we'll sample some of those. Uh, again, Effect EQ, I want to demonstrate this because I, I've talked about this before. I have zero idea what this thing does. You can't even open it. At least a compressor you can open. Um, so to me, it's a complete waste. I don't even know what it does. Let's add undulator. We'll add that in. We'll sample these and some of the patches. After we do this, we'll put Velvet Machine in. I'm going to set the Velvet Machine preset right now. Um, I want a really, really big one that kind of goes on for a while. So uh, Cascades is very good for that. We'll sample that one shortly. Let's turn off that. So straight ahead sound from the uh, Mellotron of the M400 clavichord sound.
And uh, let's add undulator. This will be whatever the initiated initial sound is. Let me demonstrate the tremolo. Turn down the mix. So that's kind of a basic tremolo sound. You can really control the amount with the mix, and obviously there's a lot of other depth of it, uh, the speed. You can do some modulation of it too. Um, this isn't an undulator review video. You'll hear some of the sounds that I do. I do like this app, and uh, a lot of the Eventide stuff goes on sale for 50% off. Um, really makes it a economical choice for not only building a real basic tremolo because there is not a preset that's just a good old-fashioned tremolo and that's kind of the closest i can get and it's not even really a tremolo right it's this is more like a rhythmic kind of app cool sounds i just to be honest have never been able to find a use for it in any of these videos um and and uh, if you've watched a number of these you'll, you'll see i've called it up and then just end up deleting it because uh, there, there's it's just not doing what i want let me do uh just a few of the presets there's actually a lot of presets i haven't even gone into the artist presets there's tons of them for all i know there's a good basic tremolo in there um i'm just gonna sample a few you'll see I'll, I'll x over to the screenshot so you can see these you can hear it kind of ramps up speeds up you know kind of a faux leslie thing but not really and even tight has the rotary effect so so that was called after image here's cascade piano so it's really more of a slicing rhythmic sound and I say slicing because um, on the rolling gear, slicer is kind of their rhythmic patterns and, and effects. It's not really a gating, you know, the gate rhythmic stuff. And just a couple more. Chop do later. So you can really do some cool stuff with these. And then Desert Piano. I actually like this one a lot, and we may use this. So you can see, even without reverb, so I do not have Velvet Machine on, you get a really, really big sound across the soundscape. You can kind of hear that. In stereo too. I will say that uh, if you've watched any of the previous videos, I, I've used wider a lot, which turns a mono sound into a faux stereo sound. As long as you use it uh, conservatively, it, it actually sounds good. It's only when you start getting in the mix above like 30-40% that it sounds artificial. Um, but I actually discovered that, uh, and I used to say, well, I can't hear it while I'm playing, but it works in playback. As most of the situations with apps and the iPad and this, it's, it's all user error. So in this case, wider actually does give the effect while you're playing. My problem was that um, on the Focusrite Scarlet interface, I had the headphone output routed differently. Uh, so it was routing a mono output, not a stereo output. Um, to hook the laptop up, there's an app uh, to change the settings very quickly in the Focusrite stuff. And I squared that away, so now everything's in stereo while I'm playing, which is nice. Um, so Desert Piano, let's turn Velvet Machine on, but not with Desert Piano yet. Um, I'll use the one before Chop, do later. So as you can hear, completely different effect. Let me turn off Velvet Machine. So you get that rhythmic stuff in the background, because Cascade is an extremely wide dense reverb that rhythmic comes up in the little in the background but a lot of it is washed out and uh, let's go to the patch that I want to use not on that because we're good with cascades I want to use desert piano so just an amazing 
ambient sound in combination with Velvet Machine. One thing I want to do though is I want to turn off Velvet Machine because there's uh, some interesting, the synced trem tails. Let me just use a square. You can hear what this sounds like because I've been I've been digging this too and using this. So again, very similar to some of the others with that. You're just getting the, the rhythmic. It's syncing to the tempo, which I haven't changed here, so it's most likely 120. I'm just gonna keep it that way. But you can hear what this does. And then there's, uh, they call them sync chop. It does a very similar thing. In the end, there's a ramp up thing there you can hear. All right, let's just compare that to the square tails. So I'm just randomly picking some of this stuff so you can hear uh, what undulator sounds like. Okay, let's go back to Desert Piano. Let's turn on Velvet Machine. And let me just do a, you know, a minute or so of the sound, at least I'm thinking of, and then we'll actually get into a jam. So even just with some random single notes, you just get this really, really big soundscape. I'm thinking with chords, it's probably going to be way too dense, but no, actually not. It's just sounds a little more lush. It's had in a bass note. All right. So that's a basic sound, the basic approach I'm going to do. Um, let's just get right into a jam, see where it takes us.
As you could hear, Undulator doesn't really do a traditional tremolo, but instead does some nice cool rhythmic effects. That in combination with Velvet Machine gave me that really big, deep, dark sound. If you'd like to hear more on a clavinet, I really recommend Keith Jarrett's Book of Ways. It's a double album of clavichord improvisations from 1987. There's 19 different pieces. My understanding is the recording session took maybe two or three hours. Everything was done in one pass. And there's a lot of interesting sounding pieces on there, some very modern, some classical, but they all have that Keith Jarrett stamp on it. All very, very expressive and probably my favorite album by Keith. I'll have a link down in the description so you can check out Book of Ways and, and hear it for yourself. Well, thanks for watching, thanks for listening, and good luck with your own music.